hey, what to do when you've got a flat tyre? I've been asked about it, and uh, lo and behold, I've got one. Come with me, and we'll find out how to get this repaired. Us from DeWitt Co. Well here we go, flat tyre. How do we change it? First thing, we're on a busy highway here. I haven't got all my recording gear. We're doing this pretty sort of rudimentary. As you can see, it's not a safe place to change a tyre. We're going to back up a bit and bring the uh, camper up here on the flat grass. So we're a little bit out of the track. And then, uh, then we'll go about it. So uh, let's do this together. Here we go. Look at this, got a hole. There was a uh, small pothole covered by water, couldn't see it as we were coming out of the service station. And we went into it and it bam! So once we got out the road, I thought there could be a problem. And sure enough, we haven't come far, just down the road there. Uh, hopefully, we can get this changed. We're sitting here in the car right now. We decided it was a lot safer not to change the tire on the Bruce Highway. We have big semi-trailers, trucks and cars coming past at 110 kilometers an hour. We called RACQ, we're members with them. Good to be a member with RACQ. And they're going to come and get us out of here and get us around the corner. And we can change the tire there that's a lot safer thing to do. Our RACQ are here. Now we figure out what they're gonna do. I think they're gonna end up putting the teardrop up there, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go find out. The tow truck uh, driver asked us to come down Buchan Road on the side here, and there's a little service road just off down here that we've gotta look for. We might pull in here, and I think this is a service road, yeah. So it'll probably happen here. So we'll just keep an eye. Thankfully to Clayton's towing, we're now in a safe location. We're going to now just put the awning out so we can cover ourselves while we're doing the change. I'm going to pull the jack out and see where we can fit it under here. What I'm going to do now, I've worked out where I can place the jack. It's not the type I was really hoping to use, but it's what in the car. And if you haven't got a jack supplied with your camper, that's all you've got. This is a little hydraulic jack. And I found a place where I can sit it quite flat on the surface to lift that whole suspension system up. So I've got that sorted. What I want to do now is make sure that this caravan's not going to move. So I back the car back onto the ball. And I'm going to put the handbrake on as possible. I don't want any of this to move. Uh, I'll also add it safety when I do start to get some pipe I'm going to put the uh, stabilizer legs down and jack them up so there's no way it can fall back down. Little hydraulic jack, how it works. Basically pumping this up and this whole center stem come up. You've got a little release valve here so that when you finish you undo and the whole thing will come down. Just checking the mechanism since this one hasn't been used and make sure it's going to work. So there you go, you can see it coming up. I hope it's got the lead, the uh, reach that we want. We'll soon know. Hit that release. 
goes right back down again. Now we have to get the spare tire out. It's up under here. It's held up from the inside there on the lever. So I'll get under the floor there and release that. The tire will come down and we'll be able to replace that. It's a big bolt there. As I'm undoing that, you should see underneath that tire dropping down. Okay, here we go. You know, if you're going to get a flat tire, of course it's going to happen when it's raining. <laughs> so we're at the point now, we've got the tyre free. Before we jack up, the first thing you've got to do is actually release the, the bolts while it's still on the ground. If you try to do it while that wheel's in the air, it will spin. The amount of force you've got to put on there. So it's this point now that you get onto those bolts that are in there, or nuts, the case may be and undo them. Loosen, but not all the way. So you're just taking the, the main tension off. Now remember, righty-tighty, which is to the right, left to loosey. So loose it off to the left, for those who don't know. Tightening, letting off. Something else I just thought of is, I'm lucky here, I'm doing it on asphalt, nice flat surface. So, you know, the jack has got a good footing. If you're on loose soil or dirt, please remember to put something underneath the jack to give it more surface area so it's got more stability. I don't need to here, but you may need like a bit of wood or one of your plates that you might have for your stabilizer leg or something underneath the jack. By case I don't need it. Now at this point in time, before you take that wheel off, get your stabilizer legs down. Them into play. Bit of extra safety right there. They're locked in. Thing can't fall down now. So as you can see, I'm positioned right here on this flat plate. Now if you've got one of those, uh, I don't know what you call those jacks, they're like this, and they wind up in the middle, usually they have like a claw piece on the top. You'd probably be able to fit that on this corner edge here on this bottom member of the suspension. It would probably lock in there. I have a flat plate on the top of this hydraulic jack, so I'm sitting up there on that flat bit there. comes our bad egg, poor thing. Off to the tyre centre. The rim is good. Tyre is, how do you call it, a uh, rata So, it'll have to be totally replaced. Go back to the tyre centre for that. No damage there. On with the new. Okay folks. A few tricks here. When you're putting your tyre back on, it's important that you follow a pattern. The thing is, slowly tighten the whole thing on, but you start with one nut and you move across to the diagonal opposite. Bring that in firm. Then move over to the top one again off to the side. Bring that in firm move to the opposite one on the other side, bring that in firm, and go around like that. The whole idea is 
you're making sure that, that the tension is brought up nice and hard on the uh, housing. Once you've got to that point, we're gonna knit them up as tight as we can. Then we drop the tire back down and that's when we give it the real maximum force tighten. Here we go. You'll see there's a little, um, the nuts have like a little bezel on them there. So you're making sure that that bezel pulls right in and gets a tire on the dead center. Really glad I got the flat tire when I, just after I had my nice cup of coffee. So it's uh, not left hanging there. But hey, it's gonna happen to you out there. If you're traveling anywhere around Australia, you're gonna get a flat tire. So you wanna learn how to change your tire because you may not be as lucky as me. You might be in the bush and it's really gonna be all up to you. So get some practice. I can even suggest that you, um, while it's still good, in your yard. Change your tyre out. Learn how to change a tyre. Learn where all your bits and pieces are so you're prepared. Right, now we're just going to nip everything up. So like I said, first one there, then opposite, then over to the other one, bring that around to your suffering firm, move to the other one on the opposite side, same thing, firm. Then around to that one, Firm, around there, firm, start again. Very good. Right, now we're going to put everything down. Let's put our stabilizer bars up first. Have to undo this. Down she comes. Voila, ladies and gentlemen. Change the tire in record time. Yeah, I know. You know, they're going to be happy at the Formula One Championships doing tire changes. But let's not tell them about it. <laughs> Last but not least, our final Titan. So you've got the wheel down now, and now you're just going around and double checking everything. Remember, righty tighty, loosey lefty. So we're going right, right like clockwise. Get in there, put some muscle in it. Now, one last thought. After you've done a few K, check that again, just to make sure nothing's come loose. But other than that, we should be good to go. So now we just gotta pack up put our tools away, make sure everything's hooked up properly, and carry on the journey. Until next time folks, catch you on the road.